Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, I want to talk real quick about Akbar and this um, alleged attack, I guess you'll say. Really, I don't even think it's alleged. We saw a video of her kind of get hit from behind or whatnot and uh, security having to pick her up off the floor. But um, what's being speculated is that people are believing that Cardi B had something to do with this. And I'm sure it has a the reason why is because Cardi B and Akbar have had a, a, an exchange of words over on social media. Um, in addition, you know, Cardi has been um, involved in getting somebody hit over at a strip club or whatever, some young lady that could have been messing with Offset or whatnot, right? Um, I think Cardi just got like a week of community service or something like that. I don't think she really got in trouble for like what happened for real for real so there's that right so this video started to surface of akbar you know in the club or whatever well first the story started to surface that akbar was allegedly attacked in new york city and uh, the person hit her from behind and they ran she doesn't know who doesn't really know who exactly did it but then at the same time people were speculating that the person that did it was connected to star brim who is also cardi b's best friend and that's how they are trying to get it back to it being cardi and it's it's crazy i don't know if cardi had anything to do with this or not if she did i do think that's whack um if she did I want her to know that, girl, at some point you have to realize that you make too much money and some people you just can't get with on their level. Stop rock, Stop trying to beef with people that's not necessarily on your level like that. I don't care what they talk about or what they saying. They can't see you, you know. Now, if she didn't do it, I think that it's whack for people to just throw these rumors and accusations out there to say that this girl was involved when y'all don't know for sure that she had anything to do with it just because she's friends with Star Brim and this other person is somehow connected to Star Brim in some fashion. We don't even know if Star Brim really fooled with that girl for real, for real, okay? So I don't think that that is um, right. So I think that that would be whack of y'all to put that off on Cardi. I feel like y'all often try to put a lot on Cardi thinking that it's going to stop her in any capacity thinking that it's going to turn people against her and it really don't you know it really don't like the more y'all spend time disliking the woman the more she elevates and the more that she rise i hate that for y'all but um either way back to the akbar situation so it seems like akbar too is also believing that cardi b has something to do with this now my question is this did you believe that on your own or did you see that come from the blogs on twitter and then you decided to adopt that narrative as well and say that it was Cardi B and her people that Cardi B had people to run down on you. And I feel like it's the latter. I feel like you saw what other people were saying and you just went with that. But at the same time, I feel like whoever was posting it on Twitter, they had to have gotten it from somewhere. And chances are they probably got it from Akbar and chances are it. it as much as she can't stand Cardi, it's crazy how she tries her best to attach herself to Cardi. By when Cardi posts some or when uh, there's conversation about her, she'll throw these subliminals out, I feel, in an effort to get, you know, engagement off of Cardi. Similar to what she does with her fave, right? Whenever, you know, there's subject matters about her fave or whatever, she inserts herself into the beef. When it came down to JT and Glow, she inserted herself. And I feel like there's always a method to the madness for Akbar because I think she may operate in the space of all news and all press could be some good press because it's still going to drive people back to her page, check her out, see what she got going on, maybe listen to a song or two. I feel like there's a method in her madness and why she always does does this and y'all know what cringe what i hate the most is the fact that i just realized we have the same date of birth and i just can't take it not the same exact but born on the same day and i'm just like girl we are so fucking opposite like the way that you just be on social media girl i can't and not that a person's personality is really tied to their birthdays you know what i'm saying i'm sure it has a lot to do with her upbringing her surroundings and stuff like that but girl you desire too much too much girl i just hate it Girl, not the twin that you hate. But anywho, so that's what's going on with Akbar. Um, she's accusing Cardi B, you know, people of coming at her and stuff. And I do want to get in to what she said. But before I get into what she said, I do want to reference something from one of Funky Dineva's video that I saw. He said that he spoke with someone that's close to Akbar or familiar with Akbar, whatever the case is. Uh, and that person told him that the incident actually took place in Las Vegas months ago um not new york city 
So I don't know what's what. So I'm questioning because if it happened a long time ago, why are you now trying to bring this to the front as if it is some new damn news? So I'm okay. That's sketchy because as soon as it happened and you believe that it was Cardi, you would have been talking about it a long time ago. Right now, granted, I can't say that it wasn't Cardi. I am having a hard time fully believing that it is Cardi because there's not enough evidence to say that it was indeed her. All because this person's connected to this person. This bone's connected to the hip bone and the bones. Uh, so, uh, uh, about, like just because it, like that don't that's not working for me. All right, but I am aware of what the history is and the possibility as well. So I am definitely in a state of like 50 50, and we'll just have to see how this play out. But if it's lies and y'all putting these allegations out on her, and you're trying to, uh, you know, if you say her name and trying to accuse this lady of something, she, I don't know if that's another defamation lawsuit on your, I'm, you know, I don't know if she might try and go for another defamation. I don't know. Because you out here putting something on her that ain't necessarily true. I do not know. Okay. But according to Funky, it happened a long time ago. And I'm not sure. That's just what he's saying that that person told him. But let's get into what it is Akbar had to say over on her social media. Because she says, I respect stand up, not sneaking. I can agree with that. If you have an issue with her, run up on her in her face. Okay. We've seen Akbar fight. She's lost 99% of those fights that she has fought in she has not won so you probably would have had a great chance had you just ran up on her in her face okay and you know what let me not say that she can't fight I'll say this the people that she fought seem to have had a better upper hand than she did in the altercations is what I'll say um you know but maybe you would have been the one that she won but I do have to agree unfortunately that I do think that was whack to just hit that lady from behind like you could have just ran up on her in her face all right she goes on to say when you send hits you have to make sure them hits stick the hoes you sending ain't none they be running and hauling ass now I'm not no beast but I damn sure ain't no and I am sure won't ever fold. I'm going to get everybody who played with me. And that's one big boo. Okay. She goes on to say, B.I.T.'s paying B.I.T.'s to sneak me and run out of spots, then acting innocent on social media. B.I.T., you will never be respected in my eyes. You botched face, B.I.T.C. Listen, I don't think that's nice to call that lady botched face. The face is giving cute. Now, your figure is also giving cute from what you were and the work you've got done is nice. Now, if you take those clothes off, people may likely call you botched as well. Botched body asshole is what they may possibly say so i'm just that's not nice but if you gonna spew it just make sure when they throw it back that you're okay with that all right she says and how y'all blogs even know y'all was waiting to post something about me negative when i actually been chilling i don't know where a bit from who respects sneak sneaking the bit goodbye okay so here's the here's the point she says how y'all blogs even know y'all was waiting to post something about me negative that little part where she says and how y'all blogs even know does kind of make me feel like this was an old event that happened this was not recent you know what i'm saying i do feel like this was old i do but let's keep going so then um she shows a dm and the person says i hope you good uh no respect for old girl who snuck you last night in agenda by the way she ran fast as fuck out the spot and down the block after that sneaky shi Miss Girl said exactly. I'm um, G. It's cool. So that is what Akbar is saying. Okay. She also went on to her social media where she had even more to say. So let's check out what Miss Ak had to say, Hannah. City. I lose, win, draw, whatever. A hoe ain't punking me though. I don't know you had to call bitches to come in to come fuck with me. Bitch, you cause I'm 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 a threat to you, bitch. If you if I wasn't nothing to you, you wouldn't even stun me. I'm a threat. I rap better than you. I'm way prettier. You. Yeah, bitch, you got more money than me as you should, bitch. As you should have more money than me. But I'm coming. And my time gonna come. I pull the car. So I ain't, I ain't never. I'm way my way. I'm 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 making my way. A fucking sneak. And then y'all blogs instead of y'all y'all act like y'all scared of this hoe. Cause I'm not scared of this hoe. Still in New York City. I was out the next day with some real niggas having shots, looking like a badass bitch. I would like to know what blog she thinks is scared of Cardi. I don't think none of these blogs really scared of her 
To be honest, because they still post what the hell they want. Never been no punk. I could take an ass whipping, win, lose, or draw. I talk too much shit to be running to some police shit. I was never going to police hoe. You get in the field hoe. You sending bitches. I don't even know how they look. I'm in the club. I don't know how bitches is. I don't know who you sent. You get what I'm saying? I don't know what, what going on. Then, boom, a hoe come from the sideline. This ain't my city. This is not my city. And, I, and, I, and that's why when I, I come to New York, New York show me so much love. I love New York. They roll out the carpet for me. This is not my city. I am from Atlanta. I'm in New York working on music and shit like that. So when I'm in the club, I'm chilling. Ho get, pay, pay a bitch. Come in and she sneak me. It ain't respected when you sneak me and run. When I first got up out of the floor, what I say? Who the fuck hit me? Don't mm -hmm. act like you just faced me front up, bitch. And it was just on sight like we finna. You ain't did none of that, ho. You snuck me. And I got to take that to the chin because in, in reality... In reality, I was moving wrong. Ain't no way in the hell I thought I'd be walking nowhere by myself. Knowing that this your city. See, I'm a real bitch and I think all logical ways. But that little shit, I'm still talking shit. I'm still going to say what the fuck I want to say. Y'all hoes ain't talking about nothing. I'm going to go in the studio and I'm going to respond to bitches. That was a hit and run, ho. <laughs> bitches out here doing hit and runs, bitch. You got to pay for that hit and run, though. Hit and run ass bitches, man. That's what y'all new name is. Y'all the hit and run squad. They already labeled y'all hoes some rats. Now y'all the hit and runs for us. So it's the hit and runs. Yeah, y'all hit and runs. I don't got to call no Nikki for no motherfucking bodyguard. Y'all be, don't, why y'all mentioning that? You ain't got to put Nikki nowhere in this. I ain't got to call no bitch for no bodyguard. That is so funny that she says, don't put that woman up in this. But every time something going on with that woman that ain't got SHI to do with you, which is 90-some percent of the time, girl, you always find your way into the conversations. Lord have mercy. Bitches ain't doing that but some hit and runs. Y'all hoes ain't, y'all ain't in no field just acting like y'all pepping shit out. That ain't what y'all doing. Bitch out there, look him. That bitch look like a motherfucker. What that nigga named Pookie? That bitch look like Pookie. I would have that bitch praying the booter. Now she on that straight shooter. That hoe is on a straight shooter, hoe. You would have never even been in no session of mine. Hoe, you gonna be at the motherfucking, um, uh, you the type of bitch that we'll have somewhere in a car, sit somewhere in the trunk, bitch. Ready to pop out, some shit pop out. Hoe, you would have never been in no session with me. Hoe, you look like motherfucking Pookie. Got this hoe on here trying to fight. Bitch look like a whole motherfucking nigga bitch trying to fight. Bitch, you'll sit your cheap wearing clothes ass down on fake ass boots you got on. I'm about to drag mm -hmm. that hoe, take her out. Girl, drag that hoe, take that hoe out. This is comical. Bitch. When you was the one that was on the flow. Girl, drag her and take her out. I ain't talking about man. Y'all hoes sending people. Send them. Keep sending them. I'm talking about shit. Ho ain't gonna play with me. Ho ain't gonna touch me. Ho knew she had to sneak you, me. Now I'm just gonna move how I supposed to move. I do supposed to have security because everywhere I go, I really be having security. But they already touched you. But bitch, I've been in this city for how many weeks? Three, four weeks, and that shit just happened. You pussy, Cardi B. You was a pussy, bitch. I'm gonna tell I'm you. I'm glad you, pussy. you said her name. You a so pussy, bitch. So if she bitch. get on your ass about accusing her of something that she ain't had nothing to do with, if she didn't have nothing to do with it. Don't you have this same energy? You keep sending people in the club to fight people. Bitch, why they ain't get me at a restaurant? Why well, I could have had, why you got to be in a club on a fight? Now, this is what I will say. Also, it, I, I hate that because of that incident, that one incident, y'all believe that she contributed to this, this other incident in a club. But Cardi, I will have to put that on you. That is on you. Because had you not been involved in that first incident, what it appears, then there would not be room to say anything about this one once it happened. That's just what I'm thinking. Okay? But if you ain't got the actual factual, well, girl, that's amazing. Bitch in a stiletto pump in the club. Like the whole city. I to accuse that lady, if you ain't got the actual factual, I'm glad you ended it with her um. With her uh, name, child, so... But I don't think Cardi's going to respond. I don't think Cardi's going to say anything, give her any type of energy, uh, because Cardi has been pretty low-key throughout the year so far since it started. 
So I don't see her responding, saying nothing, doing nothing. I just don't see her doing anything about it. All right. Somebody says she literally lost. She she literally has lost every fight we see her in. She needs to start talking out her disagreements. <laughs> Somebody says Cardi in New York City. Wasn't she at the game? Question mark. If she really wanted to see Cardi, she would have. But Akbar, you bring all this on yourself. Tokyo told you chicks will be bumper to bumper with you when you tried to play with light skin Keisha. Spice tried to tag you, but security won't let her. Girl, I was watching that the other day when Akbar asked Spice when um when uh, Atlanta when uh, Akbar said I grew here. And Spice said, I flew here. And then Akbar said, okay, did you fly Delta? Bitch, I'm not going to lie. That was a key. That was funny. <laughs> Even uh, Tokyo Tony was over there laughing. But, baby, when Akbar started talking to Spice in her language, like, like trying to mimic her accent, baby, Spice was trying to get at that ass. And they would not let Spice do it, honey. Um, they go on to say Spice tried to tag you, but security wouldn't let her. People don't like you. This is the truth. Um, you feud with everybody. This is true. Now you arguing with glow and gloss. Like, aren't they younger than you? Your cousin Candy already told you this. All right. It's you. You're behind. Okay. You're behind. Just don't listen is what they're saying. All right. And if uh, people don't enjoy your music, it's because of you and your personality. That's what I think. I'm not saying that she's not talented. I'm just saying if people don't want to listen to you, your music is because of your personality. They don't like you, so they don't care to listen to your music. Uh, but let's keep going. Somebody says now you probably about now you probably about to get sued for defamation of character because you don't know for a fact that anyone sent anybody for you. You do know that these artists have real fans that's gonna slide behind them regardless if they say so or not. I'm just saying. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, I'll let you guys continue the conversation down below. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts about everything that was discussed just now regarding Akbar um, and the attack that took place in Las Vegas or New York City or wherever it happened. And let me know your thoughts about um, Cardi B uh, being accused of having some type of involvement in all of this. All right. I am Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. King of my city and cul de sac. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Uh, niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest, with drama I'm fully abreast. I was ready for years and they doubted me, all of a sudden they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories, cross them out, I came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor, but you run no corner, packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble.